Hello guys and welcome back to Shin Megami Tensei 5. Today is going to be the last episode of this playthrough, this chaos playthrough that I'm doing. And there is going to be another episode after this where we take a look at fighting Shiva and the Demi Fiend and all that good stuff. But today we are finishing our first playthrough, our first ending, so that's very exciting. As you guys probably recall, when I had my couple days off and I was collecting all the Mimons and getting some levels and, you know, filling up my compendium so I could do that one side quest, I got a little bit carried away, I got a little bit over leveled. So when we fought Inanna and Zeus, um, it was a little bit easier than I would have wanted it to be, but it is what it is. It just opens up the opportunity for me to actually try to defeat Shiva because initially I just thought I go fight Shiva and Demi Fiend, get completely obliterated and, you know, have a good laugh and that would be the end of it. But now it looks like we might actually be able to take Shiva on. We will see if we can or not next time. Of course, last time we were also challenged by Abdiel in her Nahobino form, fused together with Ichiro. We got through that pretty quickly, and now we are going to continue on our journey towards the throne so we can take it for our own and finish this off. So enjoy today's episode, and be sure to stick around till the very end. After the credits, I'm going to share my final thoughts on this game as a whole and this ending. And yeah, here we go. Goko, what are you doing here? So, you've come. This is the Hall of Creation, resting place of the throne. Now, as to who will claim it, frankly, it matters not to me. Are you sure? Oh shit, here they come! These two characters are so cool. <laughs> so you noticed. <laughs> As if I'd ever waste my time on that wretched thing. All I want is to see it destroyed. This is the end for God and demon alike. This is so epic. The cinematography and you are no exception. Please be badass as fuck looking. Okay, very large. No more holding back. It's time I unleash my full power. Okay, a little bit more horrifying looking than I had hoped. <laughs> end is nigh. You will not get in my way. Okay. Kinda looks like Algami if he had longer hair. <laughs>
Level 83. This'll do. Yep, I'm overleveled. Ugh. Feels bad. Okay, Zeo Baryon, weak to fire. Zon Baryon, Maziodine, Slumber Vortex, Fecunda. Um, Electrify, greatly increase the damage of the next Rising Storm Dragon. Lightning Pulse counterattacks with weak alight with weak electric attack when a thunder bit is defeated. Severe electric attack to all, all foes ignores affinity resistance and pierces through. Mm, okay. Weak to fire, huh? Again, I forgot to buy shards and gems, but on the fire ones, I'm pretty much stocked up, so that's good. I won't hold back. Okay, so she can negate our buffs, but she doesn't have a Dekun... Dekaja? Dekaja. She has Dekunda. But not Dekaja, so we can debuff her as much as we want. And Trumpeter and Ball are going to be perfect for this. Because they both have some very strong fire attacks. And I'm just kind of excited. We'll use our Impaler's Animus. We'll try to use our crit on the next turn. We're going to go ahead and debuff with the Debilitate. Yep. And go ahead and do some more damage here. And I think we are going to be well on our way to victory. I hope. All stat debuffs. Wait, uh, did I get it confused? Is it the other way around? Shit. Is it the other way around? You ready? Do I want to buff myself as opposed to debuffing her? Whoops. Murakumo. matters not because I am over leveled for this <laughs> it matters not but they can't just give you like all those gospels and expect you not to use it before the end of the game you know, it's not my fault. Take this. Hey, even using the debilitate, I wouldn't count it as a mistake per se, because it, it uses one of her turns that she could have been attacking us with, you know? Wouldn't necessarily call it making a mistake. Take this. Just maybe not making the best choice. There's a difference. Okay, but we'll go ahead and use this so we can buff ourselves up. Dekunda was something you used on the enemies, and Dekaja was what you use on yourself. Negates debuff on allies. Okay, yeah, so I got it mixed up. Thank you for healing me. Oh, I almost have a thousand HP on Bunami. 999. I am just now realizing that. Take this. He 
keep using our shards because, you know, you can never be too careful. Oh well, she's gonna just waste her turn anyways. Dummy. Okay, critical time. It's time. Damn! I was not expecting it to end right there. 5,000 damage. You there. To think you possessed such power. Well done. Do what you must. Yeah, lots of power. Aww. I like them. This game does a pretty good job of making you like... ...like all the characters, but not get too overly attached to them. The Nahobino who will take the throne has been determined. Thus, I shall fulfill my role. For ages, I have watched over this world, but at last I can administer my true duty. Goddess, it is time. I am the Goddess. I exist to guide the Nahobino to the throne. I am grateful, Nahobina. It is thanks to you that I will soon serve my purpose. This way, please, take the throne and become the new ruler of this world. We look so cool. Where'd she go? Yes. This marks the birth of a new creator. A new world in his image. My true name is Amitabha. I exist to serve as the light of creation. Now let your will be done. By the power of the throne, may your ideal world be revealed. He has 
chosen. The reign of the myriad gods is close at hand. May gods reside in everything and all that exists. is our fated ruler. Listen well. Hi. You must know, this newfound world of yours is fleeting. Just as the last world came to an end, so too shall yours. It is inevitable, a product of nature. Do you wish to know why that is? You will find me in the realm beyond the earth and heavens. Best come prepared. I can't bring her? I can't bring her with me? After all the shit I used on her? You're fucking kidding me! Well, I can still use her to fight Shiva and the Demi Fiend. <laughs> I just can't use her for this fight. God damn it! Traveling to the realm beyond the earth and heavens will mean that you can no longer return to the world you months, once knew. Proceed only when you are absolutely certain that you are ready. Okay. Well, fuck. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I don't think I necessarily need need her for this fight, although it would have been nice because I spent all that time. Let's just beat the game. Let's do Demi Fiend and Shiva after. Okay, let's just beat the game because or let's just do this fight. I don't know if we're going to beat it, but let's do this fight. Lakshmi. She's the closest I have to a healer now. She's level 77, which kind of sucks. But she has Medirahan. She has Lester Candy. She's just going to be pretty underleveled. But mm, I guess we'll give it a shot. Alilot. Is Alilot a healer too? Medirahan. Oh, yeah. I'll just use this one. I would just need to give her like a buff. How is this? Okay. We're ready. Ready to go. We'll try it with this team. All right. Let's do this. Will you travel to the realm beyond the earth and heavens? I guess so. Such incredible power. No doubt means you are able to see my true form. Look upon me. my well that looks cool he looked really cool before though shall we begin
Very sleek. That's kind of more of the form I was hoping Nua and Yakuma would take. Something just like really awesome looking. As the Lord of Chaos, I defeated the Creator, consumed his knowledge, and became more than he could possibly imagine. It was then I came to understand this world. Following the world's recreation, a new dot will eventually appear. And soon after, the gods will rise up to claim the throne. At which time, the Nahobino of that world will destroy you. And the throne will once again receive a new ruler. This endless cycle is the result of a spatial governing phenomenon known as the Mandala System. Do you not wish to be free of such restrictions? Do you not wish to be free from Mandala's eternal machinations? Okay. Let's take a look. He's level 85. Here. Okay, so he has Aggie Baryon, Bufu Baryon, Zeo Baryon, Zan Zan Baryon, Megidalone, Falling Star, Severe Fire Attack to One Foe, Ignores Affinity, Resistance, and Pierces Through. He has 105 magic stat, by the way. He's resistant to physical. He has no weaknesses. Severe ice attack to one foe ignores affinity. And this. Cold dark matter plus two maximizes defense for three turns. Oh. Okay. So. I guess it's dark or almighty. Or physical. So I have a question. Does an enemy having a resistance to physical have any bearing on your crit chance? Does anybody know? Oh yeah, I do have pierce. Resist blocks critical. Okay. In Magatsuhi, you can crit against resistances. Okay, so I can't like use um, like my Wrath Tempest to try to get a crit on him without having like pierce. I didn't notice any kind of Dekaja Dekunda. Ooh. Let's start with some buffs. Okay, ignores the finity. Okay, so we can use this. Okay. Long We're doing a lot of damage. For a way to truly be free. At last, I have found but one possibility. End me. Consume my knowledge. And with it, rest this world from the Mandala's endless eons. This is the reason for my transcendence. Perish. Okay. To ice. <laughs> okay. No Magatsuhi yet. So I guess we're going to want to use this Impaler's Animus. Uh, for you... Oh boy. Too bad Donum Glotti doesn't add... Uh, 
Uh, Pierce. not be able to like really get a next the extra turns very easily the time has come lucifer created a star and changed affinities what the fuck is this he's weak to ice now I mean, he's weak to fire now. Sorry. He's weak to fire now. So when I want to keep this thing alive. Hold on. What does this thing do? Doesn't have any skills. It's weak to ice. Well, I guess this would make it difficult to use AoEs. Uh, elemental AoEs. Yeah, because, like, I can't use my Miragi Baryon now. Well, I mean, I could. Because I'm not, it's not like I'm going to lose a turn or anything. Right? Just see what happens. Because this is already my last turn. Oh. Oh my god. Wait. Okay, so I do want to kill that. <laughs> oh, so he does. He attacks with it. Wow. I'm guessing that's like almighty. Wait. Falling star. Okay, yeah. It pierces. Okay, so. Ice or fire, basically. It's going to pierce through. Okay, let's use our critical. That was a good thing. We had the whittle go or else that would have been the end of this run. Holy crap. Okay. Um... Let's do this. So we probably want to kill that thing or block. Or guard, I mean. Let's see, I need this. Um Ignores, yeah. That was wild. Let's debilitate him. Let's go ahead and use this. <laughs> Okay, we're, 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 we're getting there. I bet he has another form, though. Holy shit. I'm going to use a chakra pot here. <laughs> oh, God. The time fuck, has come. fuck, fuck, fuck. There's two of them? What do I do? How much HP do they have? Oh, we could kill them pretty easily. Kill that shit. Okay. Crisis averted. 
crisis averted. This is scary. Oh, oh. Okay. And read a shower? Nope. And read a shower? Nope. <laughs> Oh no. I'm read a shower. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um Let's see. What do we have here? What do we have here? Um He blocks all that shit. That I can only use on myself. But might as well. Oh, okay. One must consider true freedom. The time has come. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Alilot can heal us. We're fine. Let's see, we have our pierce, so let's go ahead and try to get a crit. Ooh, good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Better heal. Better to heal here. Okay, you. I guess do your thing. Trumpeter, do your thing. And you can get a crit. Nope. Not if it's resist. Okay. So. Well, now we know. Well, now we know. Observe the power of transcendence. Observe me about to fuck you up. Observe. What am I doing? Critical. You ready? Okay. Here we go. This is it. This is this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. I hope. Come on! Yes! <laughs> yes! Woo! That was... That was scary there for a second. That was quite scary there for a second. Magnificent, my children.
so I guess we're really starting from scratch. <gasps> My peeps! Well, I guess if we could recreate the whole world, we could recreate them. Fuck yeah! The new ruler has remade this world into one governed by a multitude of vastly different gods. The people offer their faith equally, choosing a life of diversity and building an ever-changing society in the process. But this There's life my boy has Zeus. no doubt proven difficult for some. Those lacking convictions of their own. Those seeking answers. Who did? Is that Shiva? Those who think for themselves and walk their own path have come together to achieve a great many things. But these irreconcilable Cons differences bro. in ideology have naturally given way to immeasurable conflict. Mm hmm Chaotic, I assume. The new ruler now looks upon a world plagued with strife. However, his sadness aside, he holds firm to his beliefs. To choose is far better than to be chosen for, and responsibility should fall to those who earnestly wish to choose for themselves. game this has been wild we're like about 90 hours ish to complete it Whew. we're not done yet we're gonna try to take out Shiva 90 hours in and we've finally seen an ending to this game what a journey it's been i started this playthrough on the 2nd of december of 2021 and we are now completing it at the end of january 2022 so it was nearly two months that we spent on this game and surprisingly it did not feel like it overstayed its welcome at all. In fact, I feel like I could play this game a lot more. In fact, I feel like if I had the time, I could go ahead and, you know, keep playing, complete the compendium, go ahead and um, play an NG plus run or something like that. Unfortunately, I don't really just have time to do that, but basically it's a very good sign that I enjoyed this game game thoroughly and immensely. After playing this game and thinking back to that one infamous IGN review where the reviewer constantly compared this game to Persona 5, I was pretty upset when I first watched it before even having touched this game and now after playing it I am so confused about why you know anybody would want to constantly compare this game to Persona 5 because it's, you know, while it has its similarities, it's so different and it stands up on its own very, very well. 
and it's just its own identity and it's great. I absolutely loved the atmosphere. I loved the exploration. I loved how they gave you like a jump button and made like the vertical exploration. It got a little bit confusing and frustrating at some times, but it was really cool to just be able to explore this world from top to bottom, search for the Mimons, explore every little corner for vending machines and other pickups. The music was absolutely phenomenal. There are two really standout songs for me. One is Demeter's theme, love that piano, the nice vibes, and then the other one is the Shohei slash Finn battle song, which is just super hype every time I hear it. I just absolutely love it. It's like my favorite battle theme, but all the music was just really great for this game. And I just had so much fun listening to a new song. It was like super exciting every time. And even though it was pretty light on the story and characterization as my very narrow experience with Shimigami Tensei games is, you know, how these games are made. And it's more of like the bigger picture and the world as a whole, as opposed to a very precise story that is driven by characters and events. I didn't have any problem with what they presented. Some of the characters were really fun. Ichiro, while not exactly being the most likable person, was very entertaining. And yeah, I had a lot of fun. But of course, the major standout aspect of this game, what makes it so incredibly fun, is the combat and the progression of your character and your demons, building them up, making them stronger, fusing them, learning the ins and outs of battles, weaknesses, press turns. It was great. It was great. Like, this is my favorite Atlas combat that I've played, I think. But I really do love the games that Atlas create as a whole. I'm super excited for more Shin Megami Tensei, more Persona in the future. If they ever make a new IP, I'll be very excited to go into that. What if they made like a, a sequel to like Catherine? I mean, they got some really good stuff that they work on. Maybe while we wait, I'll try to get around to Shin Megami Tensei 4. Not sure if that's going to happen, but I do hope that it will. Of course, there's going to be one more episode after this. We're going to try to take on Shiva and the Demi Fiend, see how those go. So stay tuned next time. And until then, have a good one.